I wanted to talk first out of the gate, Randy from uh, Buyer Protection Group. Um, appreciate you coming on the show. You've been on with us a few times. And Absolutely. One, one of the things I think is, is interesting about home inspections, and we've talked about this before, um, some of the funny stories you've, you've relayed. And I thought we'd spend a little bit of time this morning uh, kind of talking about the light side of real estate and let you share some of those uh, stories that, uh, that, that, that you've had, that you've experienced that are pretty humorous. So what are maybe a couple of the funniest things you've experienced in the home inspection world? You know, with all the rains we had recently, I, I found that someone decided to fix a roof leak uh, with a real estate sign. So they took the sign out of their front yard, <laughs> took the metal, slid it up onto the shingles, and it made another nice huge shingle to, to stop their roof leak. I thought that was pretty That's creative. That's awesome. Uh, that I'm wasn't sure my sign. Uh, uh, that yeah, wasn't okay, yours. Good, no, good, it definitely okay. was not yours. All right, good. And then recently I, I saw, uh, it was an older home in South Tampa. They had taken a baseball and used it as a sewer clean-out cap. And that thing had been in there so long that the back side of the baseball was completely hollowed out from the sewer gases just Ate it away. So they yeah. stuck it. So in the, they stuck a baseball in there. Yep, it was the right size for that particular opening, and they just jammed it in there and stopped yeah. the sewer gases from coming out. That's for sure. But yeah, that was pretty interesting. Wait, in, any other funny stories? What I, I remember you told me one time about it. You you were doing a home inspection, and it and there was a naked man walking around. I remember hearing that story, which I thought was pretty hilarious. That's, that was bizarre. Um, you know. It's always crazy the things you see the buyers do with wiring and, and you see animals in the attics and, and just the, the way people try and fix their leaks. Uh, again, with the, the roof leak deal, uh, I saw where they had taken a tarp up in the attic and tied it up on four corners to the trusses and ran it down to a point where then they had a bucket <laughs> underneath it so that a big catch basin built right into their attic. They went to so much more trouble within their attic to cure the leak than... You they know, could have just, just solving fixing it on the, the leak, roof right. itself. Yeah, right. absolutely. So again, if you've got questions about this, we'd love the opportunity to talk to you at 990-9352 in Hillsboro, 461-9352 in Pinellas.